silence. Within all the headquarter cities of Earth, countless people were all totally silent. Within Europe, Paris headquarter city. A whole group of people who were protesting were all lifting their heads in anticipation as they watched the screen, yes, they were protesting being abandoned by the leaders of their countries. They were requesting for Earth's upper echelon to come out and work together with the New Orleans Shan family. However, that was only because Earth had no defensive capabilities against the New Orleans Shan family. Nobody wanted to end up a slave, unless they were twisted in their minds. This group of people didn't want to become slaves, if there was a way to not submit to the New Orleans Shan family while gaining their freedom and lives, they would definitely be willing. Luo Feng. It's actually Luo Feng. Look at the screen. It seems this group of aliens are probably also from that Black Dragon Mountain Empire. This Black Dragon Mountain Empire is a country within the universe. Luo Feng is from Earth. How did he become a planet leader on the universe scale? And also Earth, our leader. Who knows? In terms of knowledge, Earth's humans weren't stupid. From the speech Luo Feng broadcasted all over, they easily deducted. Dots the Black Dragon Mountain Empire was powerful on the empire level, much much stronger than this seemingly huge and vast New Orleans Shan family. And their Earth's pride Luo Feng had become the planet leader within the Black Dragon Mountain Empire. Elation. If Earth wanted to ever mix with the universe, and for anybody to ever become their leader, the humans of Earth would definitely hope it'd be one of their natives. Even more so, since Luo Feng, Hong and Thunder God had already reached God's status on Earth, for any of them to become Earth's leader, there would hardly be any rejections on Earth by anyone. Who knows if Luo Feng's words will do anything. This New Orleans Shan family doesn't even know whether to retreat or not. Everybody was worried. Dot 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 dot. Earth's six great survival bases. Luo Feng, this planet leader status, will it help us? An empire in the universe, it cannot be exactly the same as how we do it on Earth. It may not be accurate. Just watch. There's going to be an outcome soon. Dot 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 dot. On Earth, whether it was the billions of ordinary folk, or the upper echelon, they were all waiting, waiting to see the reaction of the New Orleans Shan family. Luo Feng and the other two sat within the ship, proceeding back through the dark space. Virtual Universe, Black Dragon Mountain Island. Within the restaurant private room, Luo Feng, Hong and Thunder God watched the screen floating before them, maintaining contact with Zhu Xin. Zhu Xin, what's happening? Luo Feng asked, what's the reaction of the Nuo and Shan family, are they retreating? The satellite scan indicates that the two battleships are still parked above the Pacific Ocean, no movement. Zhu Xin was very worried, maybe the people from the Nuo and Shan family are discussing things. No movement, Luo Feng's eyebrows creased, they have the guts not to leave. Beside, Thunder God's eyes gleamed, if they don't leave, We'll record their actions and send it over to the Empire Headquarters, naming them as Space Pirates. The Black Dragon Mountain Empire is a very strong middle-level civilization within the universe. They definitely won't allow this family to do as it pleases. If it was an extremely huge family, that'd be hard to say. But the New Orleans Shan family, against the Silver Blue Empire or that level or empire, would be a hard pill to swallow. However, against the Black Dragon Mountain Empire, they are nothing but ants. Thunder God said confidently. These words made both Hong and Luo Feng nod. It doesn't matter what we say. Luo Feng's eyebrows creased. We can only see what they decide to do. Luo Feng and the other two maintained contact with Earth, silently waiting. Dot for news from that side. Earth, in the air above the Pacific Ocean. Two huge interstellar battleships were floating in mid-air, in one of their control rooms, the eight airs were standing, raging and pissed off. The extreme joy and excitement from finding the strange huge round ball before was all gone from their minds, now all was left was frustration. Earth's leader, this Earth actually has a leader, what do we do now? They couldn't stifle their rage. Anybody would know, the moment the New Orleans Shan family chose not to retreat from Earth, they would have serious consequences. Earth's leader, 
meaning everybody on earth were all his property and territory. Invading one's territory plus engaging in wanton looting, this sort of behavior was definitely not allowed by the empire, they would immediately be deemed as space pirates. Space pirates, or also known as space bandits. They were hated by every huge empire, they were immediately killed. Follow me to meet the head. Pula said solemnly, yes, the other seven complied. This sort of news, they could only let the head decide their course of action. A whole half a minute later. Virtual universe, Black Dragon Mountain Island. Within a luxurious villa's living room, the eight heirs stood at attention, before them a screen floated and the screen displayed two, one was the current head Yuk Nualan Shan and the elder head Duan Nualan Shan. Teacher, elder, this is the public broadcast footage on earth before. Pula said respectfully. Immediately, the footage was played. When they say the proof of ownership from the Black Dragon Mountain Empire, the two heads' expressions became ugly. Especially during the footage, Luo Feng even took out the constitution and read from it, this enraged him even further. Leave my territory immediately, otherwise, your Nuolan Shan family will gain the status of space pirates and incur the wrath of the Black Dragon Mountain Empire's army, the footage's last sentence, left the two heads at a loss for words, there was a huge treasure on earth before, and now suddenly it has become someone else's territory. Earth, is this Luo Feng's territory? Yuke couldn't believe it. Yes, teacher, I just checked. There is indeed a record within the empire. Luo Feng must have just become its leader today. Bula added. Bastard. Yuke Nuolan Shan bit down angrily. Just who is this Luo Feng? Which family? The elder beside creased his eyebrows in dissatisfaction. He is one of the top three warriors on earth. His current level should be a star traveler level nine. I estimate it to be so. Bula said respectfully. What? An earthling? The head stared wide-eyed. Earthling, an aboriginal from an aboriginal planet, suddenly became the planet's leader. One must know that to buy a planet, even the person who discovers it getting a discounted price, for a planet like Earth which was a life planet with the highest level of pricing, would require at least three trillion black dragon dollars. It was something that was impossible for normal people, that's why he asked which family he was from. Yes, an earthling, Pula nodded. It's probably that Earth had several treasures which he sold and earned enough. Earth's treasures, the two heads thought of the automaton universe ship, feeling the pinch of the loss. That was an automaton ship, the lowest level was a degrade. Much more valuable than their entire Nuolan Shan family fortune. This sort of ship's operation, or even to conquer it, with its entrance defense, would at least require a universe level 5 or 6 to have a hope of breaking in. Teacher, what should we do, should we retreat? Bula said nervously. Elder, should we retreat? The other heirs were all extremely worried too. We don't have a lot of time to hesitate. The longer we stay on Earth, the more likely we'll be deemed as space pirates. Pula said anxiously. The head Yuk Nuolan Shan bit down angrily, bastard. That Luo Feng, I want to kill him. Retreat. The elder's expression was malevolent. He cursed softly. The eight heirs were stunned. Elder. Yuk Nuolan Shan looked shocked as he stared at the elder. Are we going to just give up like this? The elder said angrily. Yuk, have you gone senile in your head? If we don't give up like this, no matter how valuable that automaton ship is, what's the point? The moment we become space pirates, the Empire's army will destroy our entire family without any problem at all. Don't tell me, just because of Earth's treasures, you are willing to sacrifice the entire family. We, we, Yuk Nuolan Shan hesitated. Yes, we can escape. But the entire Nuolan Shan family was built from our ancestors' hard work for many, many years. Don't tell me you want all of this to go in vain. The elder scolded. Yuk Nuolan Shan went silent. That was right. The ancestor back then, also known as Nuolan Shan, the founder of the family, independently created the Nuolan Shan family. With his family last name, strengthening it through tens of thousands of years before actually being able to make it progress to such a level today. Retreat. The elder gave the order, 
Yuke Nuolan Shan sighed softly. Hula and the other heirs looked at the two heads before complying, yes. On earth, following Pula and the other heirs' orders, the Nuolan Shan family members who were originally scattered across the globe swiftly headed straight back towards the battleships to gather. As for the entire retreating process, since they were already retreating, the Nuolan Shan family definitely wouldn't be secretive about it. In fact, they did it openly in public, letting the Earth's leader know and not have any reason to report back to the Universe Empire's court. The six great survival bases. Through the satellite, the Earth's upper echelon all clearly saw the Nuolan Shan family with its huge number of people and troops swiftly gather at the battleships. Ha ha, they are retreating. They are really retreating. They've begun to collect everybody and everything. One by one, they are all entering the battleship. We've won. We've won. Victory. The extremely excited Earth's upper echelons willfully shouted loudly, displaying their elation. And this news swiftly reached Luo Feng and the other two in the distance dark space through Zhu Xin. Dot 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 dot. Luo Feng, Hong and Thunder God looked at the screen that Nuolan Shan family troops were gathering from all across the globe, entering the battleships. Looks like they're really retreating. Thunder God's eyes gleamed. Don't be anxious. Hong stared at the screen. Let's wait for the battleships to actually leave Earth before saying. We are about to succeed. Luo Feng too held his breath as he waited. Waiting for the two battleships to leave Earth. Rumble. The two enormous interstellar battleships, under the surveillance of Earth's many satellites, finally began to increase their speed and fly upwards, quickly leaving the atmosphere. This entire scene was directly broadcasted to every country on Earth, every base's household television, computer screens. The day we held our bated breaths, the day that left us all in fear, the day that left us in despair. We had already given up originally, thinking that all of us were about to be conquered by the Nuolan Shan family from the universe, however, when that enormous 3D projection appeared in mid-air, Seeing that image, we thought about back then, that duty-bound honorable image that plunged into the depths of the sea to fight it out with the swallowing beast. Yes, we've been conquered by him, he, is a true hero. Yes, hero, on television, the reporter couldn't control his emotions as tears rolled out continuously. On every television in every country, the scene broadcasted was that same scene, however each used their own language to speak. Victory. We've won. We've won. Ha ha. A few of the silent sitting protests people who were watching the huge screen, the scene of the two enormous battleships picking up and leaving, all jumped up, crazily shouting excitedly. Luo Fun, Hong and Thunder God, the three who, the moment they found out about the expected invasion of the Nuolan Shan family, risked their lives and entered the universe to fight it out for our Earth's single chance of survival. They've succeeded, yes, the three have succeeded. On television, they played the footage of Luo Feng, Hong and Thunder God's incomparable elation. This footage, was something Luo Feng and the other two sent over via the Virtual Universe Network. It's too emotional, I'm just going crazy. Within the Universe ship's control room, Thunder God was extremely excited, truthfully, when I saw that the entire Earth, every base, every place, Countless people shouting and celebrating, with people kneeling down and kissing the land. I felt so emotional my whole body shivered, I know. This is our race, our route, they are fellow people, our fellow people. Yes, we've succeeded, succeeded. Hong was calm, his eyes too were moist. I too cannot bear to stay here in the virtual universe network anymore. Luo Feng's emotional state was incomparably high. Looking at the entire Earth situation sent over, I feel so emotional that my head is bursting. I want to go home, to Earth. Luo Feng shouted within the ship's control room, I want to return to Earth now, return there now. Me too, Thunder God nodded. Yes, return home, Hong nodded. They were extremely emotional. The Universe Scout ship was continuously proceeding within the dark space, heading towards Earth's coordinates. Unlike the joy that the humans of Earth and Luo Feng were experiencing. 
The people in the Nuolan Shan family's two battleships were extremely enraged. The leading battleship, the eight heirs were in the control room, not a single smile could be seen. Bastards. Dog shit. How did it turn out this way? This Luo Feng, how did he become the Earth's leader, and so quickly? The atmosphere was cold and tense, it could drive people crazy. Do. Pula creased his eyebrows slightly, the other heirs looked towards him, Pula said solemnly, the head wants to meet me. Finishing that, he immediately went towards his own cabin. Within the virtual universe network, the current head Yu Nuolan Shan and the elder Duan Nuolan Shan were standing there, respectfully, beside them, stood an incredibly skinny, eyes looking extremely vicious with pointy ears man. He was donned in a dark green battle uniform, on his chest there was a peculiar axe medal. For the family, thinking about me, this man was extremely furious, it doesn't mean a thing for the family, back then when I started this whole thing from scratch and built the entire family. I can do it all over again if I need to. The most important thing is power. It's power, do you all understand? Right now I'm already at the universe level 9, just a little more and I'll reach the domain lord level. If I had a huge amount of immeasurable wealth, I can invite an undying warrior to teach me, with that I'll be able to break through, and when that happens, I'll have a 100 era lifespan. Then, the Nuolan Shan family will become even more glorious. The wrath of the empire, what a joke, the family's elite will immediately take the ships and travel through the universe. If it comes to it, we'll leave the Black Dragon Mountain Empire. Those planets, we can just throw them away. Later when I become a domain lord, the Nuolan Shan family will be stronger by a hundred times. The man said coldly, what's more, it's not like our entire Nuolan Shan would have to leave right away after looting Earth. It would be a waste after all to give up all of our planets. The two heads, in front of the head ancestor, didn't dare utter a word. Do, a notice sound rang. Oh, the brat leading the fleet has arrived. The man, only now did he reveal an ice-cold smile. Pula stood respectfully, a screen appeared floating before him, on it appeared a human image. A. Pula was stunned. There were a total of three people on the screen, one of them was his teacher Yuk Nuolan Shan, the other was the elder, and these two were respectfully standing at the side of a man dressed in a dark green battle uniform, and on this man's chest, there was a peculiar axe medal, this made Pula's heart race within with a torrent of emotions. A battle axe medal. This was a display of proof of absolute strength amongst the warriors, it was one of the five leviathans, the battle axe Colosseum, proof of experiencing life or death situations over countless time, the greatest honor. The battle axe Colosseum, along with the Virtual Universe Network Company, the Universe First Bank, Universe Galaxy Bank and the Universe Mercenary Alliance, were the great leviathans of the universe. The battle axe Colosseum allowed its members to kill amongst themselves while others bet. For example, when universe-level warriors dueled, it placed the two universe-level warriors on an uninhabited planet or in space, under the supervision of the Battle Axe Colosseum and broadcast, battling to the death. Only when one side has died will the other be considered victorious. Its death percentage for every battle was a 100%. This was because in a battle to the death, everyone who dared to duel all had their own ultimate ability. The contestants, were called the fighters of the arena. Winning ten matches, one would acquire the Battle Axe Colosseum's title warrior. Winning 100 matches, would acquire the title warrior king. Winning 1000 matches would acquire the title of Battle Axe Warrior. That means to say, under Nuolan Shan's hand, there were over 1000 dead universe level warriors. Every battle to the death was a definite risk and danger, a challenge to one's life. To be able to win 1000 matches, that was the true mark of a universe level, a true, most powerful universe level fighter. This didn't really mean invincibility though. The so-called star traveler level domain fighter, to be invincible within one's own level. These were just, nicknames. But the battle axe warrior status, one actually had to risk his life in match after match of deadly battles, 
swapping 1000 universe level warriors heads and blood to prove it. It goes to show how powerful Nuolan Shan was. In the Nuolan Shan family, the first Nuolan Shan was almost just like a legend, within the Kalo Empire, the Nuolan Shan family was the solidly placed third family. The first family was the royal family, they had a domain lord. The second family was the Wei Dai family, its main power was in Black Dragon Mountain Empire, stretching all the way to the Ganwu Empire, its entire complete power was much much more powerful than the royal family. The other families behind, many families had universe level 9 warriors, however, Nuolan Shan family was still the uncontested third family. With a huge number of star level warriors willing to join, also excluding Nuolan Shan himself, with his disciples and other family members, there were a total of six universe levels. Six great universe level subordinates. To be able to build an 8,000 man Nuolan Shan guard army. The Nuolan Shan guards were all at star level 9. The number of life planets they controlled in total exceeded 1,000. This was all built from Nuolan Shan himself. Nuolan Shan, a legendary being. Dot, 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 dot. Even though it was said that one galaxy usually only produced one universe level warrior, however the moment there's a teacher to guide, the efficiency would rise by a lot more, just like Earth, they could actually be forced by the Yunmo planet master to reach the sector lord level, this showed the benefits of having a teacher. Looking at the Silver Blue Empire, maybe the number of universe level warriors was little and pathetic. However, in the Black Dragon Mountain Empire, to control over 8,000 galaxies, such a powerful and vast empire, with many many ancient families, there were even undying beings. Hence, the number of universe level warriors was definitely plenty. Hence, the universe battle axe warrior, even within the Black Dragon Mountain Empire still meant quite a big deal. Of course the Domain Lord Battle Axe Warrior and the Sector Lord Battle Axe Warrior within the Black Dragon Mountain Empire were like myths. That was because the entire Black Dragon Mountain Empire only had so few Domain Lords. Hence the number of participants was much much less. Hence, in over a million to ten million years, the vast Black Dragon Mountain Empire had only produced one Domain Lord level Battle Axe Warrior. As for the Sector Lord Battle Axe Warrior, that was a myth in the Ganwu Empire. Battle Axe Warrior, Universe Level Battle Axe Warrior. Hula was so excited his heart trembled, within the entire Black Dragon Mountain Empire, the current ones who are still alive and have been awarded the Universe Level Battle Axe Warrior title, there's only 12 of them. Six of them are currently still at Universe Level 9, four have become Domain Lords and two have become Sector Lords. Head Ancestor. I finally got to see the head ancestor. Pula was extremely excited. Your name is Pula. The man whose eyes were piercing and vicious looked at Pula. I've heard of you. You are our Nuolan Shan family's youth who's most likely to reach the universe level. Pula greets the head ancestor. Pula was excited within, being extremely respectful. Him. The man nodded. I heard you discovered on Earth an automaton universe ship, and the corpse of a golden horned beast infant. Yes, Pula said, the automaton ship is underwater on Earth, only thing is the ship's entrance defenses are too strong, we have no way to enter. And the golden horned beast infant indeed landed on Earth, however, we had too little time, the amount of places we managed to siege was too little, we haven't found the infant's corpse. Ship, golden horned beast infant's body. The man couldn't help but tremble within, as a battle axe warrior, the friends he had made and the things he had seen were beyond normal. He was very clear that this sort of extremely valuable item like the golden horned beast's body, was something undying beings would be willing to buy, even the Ganwu Empire would definitely want to buy it to dissect and research. Undying beings, Ganwu Empire, this sort of power and buying power, any casual price thrown out would far exceed the entire Nuolan Shan family's fortune by many times. The ship is secondary, the golden horned beast infant body is the real treasure, even if the body is treated and used as a specimen, it's still the pinnacle of luxurious treasures to obtain. The man was highly anticipating. Pula said, we are worried, 
whether the infant's body has already degraded. Impossible, the man said, the golden horned beast has an internal world to support it, even if it dies, after a thousand years, its muscles degraded, its bones and scales will still remain. What's more, the date you sent shows it's only been dead for three years. Pula, the man said coldly, I order you. From your fleet's brightest and elite warriors, form a small group to stay, they will take a small inconspicuous ship to stay on earth. The aim is to find the golden horned beast's body. Stay on earth, Bula was shocked. Head ancestor, earth has a leader. So what if they have a leader? The man said coldly, I'm only ordering a small elite group to conceal themselves on earth to look for the golden horned beast infant's body. Even if they are found or revealed, wouldn't just letting that group be deemed as space pirates suffice? What proof could Earth have that that little group is from the Nuolan Shan family? Let that little group impose as space pirates. Head ancestor, we just left and space pirates immediately appeared. Wouldn't the people from Earth suspect us? Pula said. Remember, the man said coldly, according to Empire laws, what they need is proof. Without proof, even if they know clearly that these are Nuolan Shan family people, without any proof to submit, that these people are from our family. Then, that earth leader Luo Feng won't be able to do anything anyway. Understood. Pula nodded. Go, the man ordered, ensure that we find that golden horned beast infant's body. Head ancestor, we found another peculiar treasure on earth, take a look. Pula immediately played the footage, it was the poisonous round ball they found in China, Shenlongjie. Treasure, Nuolan Shan's gaze was ice cold. He was originally watching the footage calmly, but his face displayed a sense of shock and fear, immediately ordering, Pula, I do not allow any of you to go near it. Listen to me clearly, I definitely do not allow it at all. Do not act on your own. Yuk, Juin, the two heads were very shocked. They had never seen the head ancestor so flustered and angry before. Head ancestor. Pula was stunned. Why are you still here? Nuolan Shan ordered coldly. Remember my words. Do not touch that thing. You must definitely never touch it. Yes, yes, yes. Pula was shocked, immediately following his order and leaving the virtual universe. Dot 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 dot. Head ancestor. Yuk Nuolan Shan. Juin Nuolan Shan, the two heads looked at the head ancestor with curiosity, Nuolan Shan simply said softly, don't ask so much, let's just hope it's dead, if it was alive. Nuolan Shan seemed as though he had seen countless galaxies destroyed, his body couldn't help but to tremble a bit. Earth, Earth, just what is this place? Nuolan Shan felt fear from within, even if Earth had countless treasures, I would still definitely never go there. As for the automaton universe ship, it requires a universe level 5 or 6. HMPH, I'll send a disciple. I can't go there personally. If that thing was alive, I'd never be able to escape alive. Solar system. The two enormous battleships flew out of Earth simultaneously. A ship with a diameter of 100 meters flew out from within one of the battleships, turning on its screening and camouflage systems, just like Buluo back when his little group of explorers had first arrived, carefully re-entering Earth. With the capabilities of the C-grade universe ship camouflaging itself, the humans of Earth had no way at all to detect it. Tuolewu, this is the order given by the head ancestor, you must complete the mission. These are the specific details. Remember, no matter what happens, you must definitely never let any proof of you all being members of the Nuolan Shan family be captured by the people of Earth. There were 20 star level 9 and 60 star level 7 and 8 fighters. This was the Nuolan Shan family's little elite group. With Earth oblivious to them, they quietly entered Earth, not disturbing anyone, and began their mission in searching for the golden horned beast infant's body. Within the dark space, Luo Feng and the other two were still in their ship heading towards Earth. Ha ha, after going through this once, the future will definitely be much easier. Hong laughed. Luo Feng, Hong and Thunder God were extremely happy. Yes, even if they know that Earth has treasures, however, if they send anyone over, 
they would have to go through the wormhole and enter the dark space district, then it'd take another two years and eight months to reach. Thunder God was proud, two years and eight months, that's so much time, we'd be extremely prepared by then. Luo Feng nodded. Yes, after this batch of people leave, even if the Nuolan Shan family sent a universe-level warrior, it would still take him two years and eight months to reach Earth. By then, my golden-horned beast's body would long have reached the universe level. Luo Feng was extremely elated. Earth, South America, the Amazon jungle. The universe scout ship had entered into the Amazon jungle's rivers, deep underwater. Along with its own signal masking, camouflaging systems etc., it was impossible to detect. Deep somewhere in the forest, one after another, soldiers dressed in dark blue battle uniforms were either sitting cross-legged on the ground, nestled against a tree or sitting on the branches. The fearsome beasts within the forests didn't even dare approach or get near them. Sue, 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 four human silhouettes rushed out from a distant river, these four were dressed in black uniforms. Captain, a group of soldiers stood up and shouted in unison in universe language. This time, the New Orleans Shan Elite Little Team had a total of 20 star level 9s and 60 star level 7s and 8s, they were divided into four little groups. Each group was led by a different leader, their names Tuolewu, Rongxi, Amen and Abuate, amongst them Tuolewu was the main in charge. Yes, since everyone has arrived, speak, you were all each in charge of different oceans, did you search result in anything? Tuolewu said seriously, he was a strong and sturdy back-skinned man, his hair was a peculiar mix of black and green. Even though there were a total of 20 New Orleans guards and they were all star level 9s. However, a good comparison was how Luo Feng could kill enemies 3 or 4 levels above him. Similarly within the star level 9, different people had different battle levels. The universe level 9 Nuolan Shan had killed over 1,000 universe levels, more than half of them were universe level 9s. Same grade, same level, the difference in their battle capabilities and strengths was still vastly different. Tuolewu, he was amongst the top 10 in the 8,000 strong Nuolan guards, just he alone would be able to hold off up to 10 normal star level 9s. Captain, we couldn't find anything we couldn't find the swallowing beast's body at all. Right, our little group here was in charge of the Atlantic Ocean. After a few days of landing, we've combed over the entire Atlantic Ocean. But we still couldn't find the swallowing beast's body. Same here. Captain, what do we do since no one has been able to find it? A group of soldiers all looked at the four captains. The four captains exchanged glances, Amen, the one with the most intimidating body and build said seriously, we have 80 people, we spent so much time and searched every inch of Earth's oceans without any luck. The next step. Dot are we to engage in Lord Pula's plan? Yes, Tuolewu nodded, according to the plan Lord Pula gave to us, there are two possibilities with regards to the swallowing beast, one, the humans have it either to dissect and research or keep, two, they don't have it its body is still in the ocean. Since right now we've searched and there's no sign of its body at all in the oceans, then they humans definitely have it. America, Washington base. What a beautiful day. Boris Brent was all smiles as he walked out of the White House. In the distance, policemen rushed to help open the car doors. Bowley entered the cars and two bodyguards swiftly followed and the chauffeur immediately departed. It was too cramped in the survival bases with only that much space, it was too uncomfortable. Luckily, that group of evil aliens have all left. Bowley smiled as he said to the black bodyguard beside him, David, should I display some form of gratitude towards the noble Mr. Luo Feng? Yes, sir, the bodyguard smiled, revealing a very white set of teeth. Okay, Boris smiled and nodded, according to the data we acquired from the virtual universe network, our Earth is within the dark space, the next time aliens actually try and invade, would take at least a few years. Our people of Earth are very confident. Look, the stocks which had dropped to near zero before are bustling and live again. David, if you had listened to me earlier, 
you will have earned a great deal of money. The bodyguard maintained his smile. Yes, after experiencing that crisis, the people of Earth were filled with hope for the future. Hello, hello, dear, I'll be home in five minutes. Yes, relax, I've already prepared a present, yes, I'll give you a surprise later. Boris smiled as he called, suddenly his expression changed. This was because he had just realized, the chauffeur had actually driven and parked the car in an unfamiliar road. Boris said, hey, this is the wrong way, turn back. The moment the words left his mouth, he suddenly felt an extreme sense of weariness envelope him. Be it the bodyguards, or the chauffeur, including Boris himself, they all suddenly fell into a trance, a state of hypnotism. The car continued to proceed, until finally it reached a desolate alley. The car screeched to a halt. Sue, Sue, two human silhouettes appeared beside the car, one was Tuolewu while the other was dressed in a dark blue battle uniform, with three eyes, this was another star level 9 out of the 20. Question him, Tuolewu gave the order. Yes, Captain, the three-eyed man looked at Boris, without speaking, the quantum computer spoke in English. Tell me your name, Boris Brent, Boris said dazed, the swallowing beast incident, where is that beast's body? The three-eyed man's quantum computer spoke basic English. No idea. Boris, S eyes weren't focused at all. Tuole Wu and the three-eyed man glanced at each other. Where's the most likely place the body of the swallowing beast could be right now? The three-eyed man asked again. The swallowing beast was fought by the combined forces of the six great heroes and finally killed by China's Luo Feng. Everybody thought back then that Luo Feng had died, but a year after, he actually returned alive. The countries all think that wherever the body of the swallowing beast is, Luo Feng would know the best. Boris said. The three-eyed man asked again, are there any other possibilities? Either the other countries may have acquired it, or it was eaten by the sea creatures. Boris said. The alley went silent. Captain, the three-eyed man looked at the captain. Luo Feng, Tuolewu pondered for a moment, Opening his communicator, Rongji, Abaluate, take your teams individually and capture the leading brains of the five great countries. I'll personally take a team and go capture the close ones of the planet leader. Yes, the other three captains complied. Yangzhou City, Westlake Courtyard, Luo Feng's Castle. The Nuolan Shan family fleet had entered universe travel and left the solar system, this was something actually recorded by the surveillance devices set up around the solar system. Since everybody knew that the Nuolan Shan family had left, large amounts of the people within the survival bases naturally came out. After all, the personal space within the bases was quite small. Ping Ping, Little Hai, when you are home, listen to your grandfather and grandmother. Zhu Sin finished her lunch and smiled at her two sons. Mama, I want to follow you out. Little Hai shouted. Mama has some business matters to attend to. Zhu Sin kissed her two sons before heading to the car and leaving the castle. Since the crisis had passed, life gradually returned to normalcy. Large amount of powerful warriors were scattered around the castle surroundings. These were all what Luo Feng bought before. Run a little faster. Lit Hai is so fast. Ping Ping, keep going, keep going. Luo Hongguo and Gong Xin Lan were happily on the grass outside the castle playing with their grandchildren. Beside in the distance, Zhen Nan was sitting in chair reading a book, just from watching Ping Ping and Little Hai made her look down and occasionally rub her belly. Remember, everybody must be careful. The moment we act, we must swiftly capture the Earth leader's close ones. In midair, with Tuo Lei Wu as the leading warrior, Twenty beams of light swiftly flew towards Yangzhou City. Every one of them brought with them a camouflage device. Even on normal planets such as Balan Star, these could be used, much less Earth. There's another 300 kilometers. We'll be there shortly. We must be fast. The grass patch outside the castle, Luo Hongguo, Gong Xin Lan was still playing with their grandchildren. Woo woo woo, woo woo woo. An extremely ear-piercing alarm sound immediately resounded throughout the entire castle. Protect the little masters. 
Beside them in the distance were Meng Two and Four who were just standing by. Their expressions changed and immediately became two beams of light. Meng Tu was a star level 7 spirit reader. Her speed was absurd. Almost instantly she was hugging Ping Ping and Little Hai. And Meng Fu swiftly hugged Luo Hongguo and Gong Xin Lan. The other star level 1 guards swiftly hugged Shen Nan. Su, Su, Su. The grass patch was less than a 100 meters away from the castle. They swiftly rushed in entering into the castle's master bedroom which was the place with the highest defensive capabilities. Rumble. The castle's defense system swiftly activated. With the master bedroom as the core, ten pathway gates immediately fell and locked dead. One had to know that the castle's core was made of C-grade metals, guaranteeing that even a universe-level attack wouldn't be able to break through. Within the bedroom. This. This. What is this? This. Luo Hongguo and Gong Xin Lan's faces were pale white. Grandfather, grandmother, the two children were very flustered. The castle's security warning system has an area of 20,000 meters. Meng Tu's expression was serious. He said solemnly, according to the level of enemies approaching, the warning system will give out a different alarm sound. The alarm from before represented that the approaching enemies were at least of our level. Their specific levels and strengths will only be known from checking the defense system. Virtual Universe Network, Black Dragon Mountain Island. Sir, this manor requires 15 million Black Dragon dollars. It's definitely luxurious and comfortable, suitable for your status and position. Luo Feng, Hong and Thunder God were looking at houses. They were getting ready to buy a house within the Virtual Universe Network. It's really expensive. Even the items in the virtual universe network are so expensive. Thunder God snapped. Hold on a moment. Luo Feng realized that there was a call request. Looking at the spirit imprint matched to the virtual universe network number, it was actually his own father. Do. An image appeared before Luo Feng. His father Luo Hongguo looked pale and terrified, saying anxiously, Luo Feng, there are aliens attacking our home. The defense system shows that the enemies are 5 star level 9s, 15 star level 7 and 8s. I think that the Nuolan Shan family probably hasn't totally left. Luo Feng, Hong and Thunder God's expression changed. Dad, attacking the castle. Are there any injuries? Luo Feng said anxiously. Many of the guards have died. We and Ping Ping and Little Hai, along with Shen Nan are in the castle without harm. However, Zhu Xin and your little brother Luo Hua are outside because of work. Luo Hongguo said worriedly. Earth, China. Luo Feng's castle was a symbolic structure of Yangzhou City, but it was currently being attacked like crazy. Boom, boom. The entire castle shook again and again as it was attacked by lightning-like images using either their fists or weapons. The powerful shockwaves crazily spread out and within a radius of a few kilometer, destroyed the lawn of Westlake Courtyard, revealing the ugly dirt and stone below. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Large amounts of smashed rock flew around, which damaged a few streets and residential areas outside of Westlake Courtyard. The flying rocks were no weaker than bullets. Cries of pain sounded across with Westlake Courtyard in the center. The few surrounding kilometer of Westlake Courtyard were filled with people, so the amount of casualties rose to the thousands. Thankfully, these star-level fighters were all focusing their attacks on the castle. If they spread out, then one of their attacks could completely decimate a sector and cause damage to over a 100 kilometers radius. What's going on? We still haven't broke it. Tuo Lei Wu in his black battle uniform hovered in front of the castle like a warrior god. His 19 underlings transformed into 19 flowing lights as they attacked the castle again and again. Captain, a dark blue image stopped near him and said in a hurry, this castle definitely wasn't created on earth. This is a transportable castle sold to the wealthy in the universe. The structure of the castle was constructed with safety as its top priority. Especially the central area of the castle, it's definitely at a C rank safety level. Bastard, Tuo Lei Wu's face became colder and colder. Captain, 
Another squad member instantly appeared beside him and hovered there as he hurriedly said, We can't break through. We should just go and capture Luo Feng's wife and brother. Luo Feng's parents and two children are in the castle. They are his most important family members. Only by catching them can we achieve the greatest effect. Tuo Lei Wu's face became worse and worse. In the vast universe, powerful universe fighters usually have many wives. Because a fighter's genes will improve the genes of his future descendants, for the sake of his family and race, they would usually have many wives. And, some powers and families are willing to send up their women to stay with powerful fighters. So in the vast universe, powerful fighters have many wives, which means that the importance of a single wife is extremely low. And the more powerful a fighter becomes, the fewer children they'll have. For example, the Manka planet people become domain lords when they become adults. Their genes are extremely good, but their population is also extremely small. And beings like the golden horned beast are so few that they're almost extinct. Their population level is even lower than the amount of undying fighters in the universe. A powerful fighter can have a huge group of wives, and yet very few children. And of course, one mom and one dad. So a very natural idea was formed in the universe. The most important thing to a powerful fighter is their parents and children. Captain, Earth usually goes by a monogamous system, so his wife is still important to him, said the squad member. HMPH, since this Luo Feng is the leader of Earth and has a huge amount of wealth, he'll definitely have more than one wife in the future, to a Lei Wu frowned as he said, whatever, since we can't get to his parents and children, capture his wife and brother immediately. Yes, the squad members obeyed respectfully. Whoosh, 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 large amounts of flowing lights flew away, leaving behind only the extremely damaged castle and the ruined lawn. Woo 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 tilde tilde tilde. The sound of an alarm reverberated in the sky of Yangzhou City. Holy, my heavens. This, this. As they stood on the ruins of destroyed homes, a group of police looked into the distance with shock. In front of them, huge ditches that were a few kilometer long and several dozen meters deep seemed to have been created from the blade of a deity. The beautiful West Lake Courtyard has already become a ruin. Other than the tattered castle that still stands, everything else has been destroyed. Luo Feng's castle sure is tough. The aliens blew past one layer of the castle walls, but the resulting shockwave has already destroyed the surrounding land and the walls of West Lake Courtyard. Two high-ranking military personnel talked on the car. How many people died? 812 deaths, several thousand injured. I can't believe the people from the Nuolan Shan family still haven't left. To Earth overall, the destruction of West Lake Courtyard and the damage caused to the surrounding civilians is something big, but not big enough to threaten the entire world. The thing that truly shocked every county was that this showed the people from the Nuolan Shan family still haven't left. Zhu Sin, hurry, hurry and get to the survival base. Yes, don't delay, right now. Zhu Xin, who received Luo Feng's notification from the consciousness sensor helmet she carried around with her at all times, arranged for a fighter jet to come as she prepared to fly directly to the survival base. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. The fighter jet was directly dragged to the ground while it was still in midair. Hua, the hatch opened, and Zhu Xin looked towards Nuolan Shan family's elite squad whose members clearly looked different from the humans on Earth with an ugly face. Madam Luo, come with us, the mini quantum computer gave off an electronic sound. One of the members grabbed Zhu Xin's hand and directly dragged her out. Whoosh, all of them flew away. Other than the problems they had with capturing Luo Feng's parents and children, there was absolutely no problem in capturing the leaders of the five countries, Zhu Xin and Luo Hua. Earth, South America. Because of population issues, South America only has two headquarter cities. One of them is Brasilia Headquarter City, which is primarily made up of Brazilians from before the Grand Nirvana period. There were also people from other South American countries there too. One of the courtyards in Brasilia headquarter city. Rong Xi is back. 
three men in black battle uniforms raised their heads and watched as another squadron swiftly landed from the sky. Captain Rong Zhi, all of them have been captured. Way too easy. The four captains stood together. Because their spaceship was hidden in the Amazon forest and they didn't want to keep living in the forest while they were on Earth. They picked the nearby Brasilia headquarters city and chose a decent area to build a decent courtyard. As for the original owner of this area, he has long become fertilizer. Get all of them here, ordered to Olay Wu. Yes, Captain. The leaders of the five powerful countries, Zhu Xin and Luo Hua were all escorted to the huge lawn of the courtyard. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Zhuo Lei Wu looked at the seven people and revealed a smile. It is my honor to meet you guys. He spoke in the universe language and the quantum computer automatically translated into Chinese and English. The seven people here were no ordinary people. Nothing needs to be said about the five leaders of the five most powerful countries on earth. Zhu Xin is Luo Feng's wife and frequently uses the virtual universe network, so she understand a lot about the universe. Luo Hua has been handicapped for around 10 years and loves playing in the stock market, which tests one's mind. When encountering something like this, he was naturally calm. May I ask who you are? Out of the five leaders, the American president was the first to ask. I am just the captain of an extremely ordinary adventuring squad in the universe, smiled to Olay Wu as he spoke in the universe language. I want to ask you guys. I'm sure none of you have forgotten the swallowing beast incident back then. The seven of them slightly nodded. Good. You all are cooperating well. Tuo Lei Wu nodded. Then where is the corpse of the swallowing beast? A bit of confusion flashed across the eyes of the seven of them here. Tuo Lei Wu frowned in response. Rong Ji, Hypnotize them and ask them. Don't forget. Especially the woman and the youth. Don't damage their memories. Later on I still need him to contact the leader of Earth, Luo Feng. Don't worry, smiled another captain. His formless spiritual force seeped into each of their consciousnesses, and then he began his questioning. What's going on? None of them know. Not even Luo Feng's wife knows. The faces of Tuo Lei Wu and the other three captains all changed. Their goal on Earth was to find the body of the swallowing beast. Wake up! yelled Rong Ji. The seven of them awakened, and all of them exchanged glances, their faces changing slightly. Madam Luo, I need you to enter the virtual universe network immediately. I will accompany you, said Tuo Lei Wu in a low tone. If you don't accept, you should know that many people will die. I'm sure, with your kindness, you will accept. Zhu Xin took in a deep breath and slightly nodded. She had no choice. Zhu Xin had no power to resist this universe adventuring squad that can capture the leaders of the five powerful countries without trying. Virtual Universe Zhu Xin and Tuo Lei Wu appeared on the street at the same time. Tuo Lei Wu brought Zhu Xin into a room in a bar. Contact Luo Feng, commanded Tuo Lei Wu. Remember, do as I told you. Okay, Zhu Xin could only send the invitation. In just a moment, Luo Feng, Hong, and Thunder God appeared on the screen in front of them. Zhu Xin, Luo Feng's cold face finally let out some happiness, you arrived at the survival base. You're fine, I'm fine, Zhu Xin said. Luo Feng, the humans from the universe squad that invaded our home captured brother Luo Hua, and then used brother Luo Hua's phone, and then called me, and then made me tell them where the corpse of the swallowing monster is. If I don't tell them, They'll kill brother Luo Hua. I don't even know where the corpse of the swallowing monster is. What should I do? Tuo Lei Wu stood in the corner of the room as he coldly watched. According to his plan, he'll first get Zhu Xin to ask her husband. It is easy to give out the information when a wife is asking her husband. If that doesn't work, he'll force out the information. Luo Feng, if you don't say anything, Brother Luo Hua is going to die, said Su Sin hurriedly. What are you asking this for? The corpse of the swallowing beast has already rotted away. Luo Feng started to become nervous, because he knew. Zhu Sin has been captured. Because, Zhu Sin has already been hinting at that fact. 
When Zhu Xin usually talks about Luo Hua, she'll usually directly say, your brother, or Luo Hua. She wouldn't say something like, brother Luo Hua. And Zhu Xin said, brother Luo Hua, several times in the conversation, and she spoke in quite a weird tone. And Tuo Lei Wu, who is relying on his mini quantum computer for translations, wouldn't be able to realize this at all. Mr. Leader. An image appeared beside Zhu Xin. Luo Feng stared at the cold man in front. Don't lie to us like you lied to your wife. There is no way the corpse of the swallowing monster will rot away in a short three years. Tell me, where is it? Said Tuo Lei Wu in a low tone. If you don't tell me, your brother, wife, and countless others will lose their lives. Luo Feng stared at Tuo Lei Wu. You're from the Nulan Shan family. Nulan Shan family, what do they have to do with us? Are you joking? Laughed Tuo Lei Wu. Suddenly, his tone became cold as he yelled, Stop wasting time. Are you going to tell me or not? Bastard. Luo Feng's expression was complicated. Ten seconds. If you don't tell me in ten seconds, I'll kill your brother first, said Tuo Lei Wu coldly. Ten. Nine. Stop playing these childish games, Luo Feng stared at Tuo Lei Wu. Don't you want to know about the corpse of the golden horned beast? Stop saying swallowing beast. You think I don't know? Good. Tuo Lei Wu laughed. As an elite in the top ten of Nuolan Shan's guards, he indeed has heard of the swallowing beast. However, in Pula's plan, everyone was commanded to just say, swallowing beast. However, I can't completely trust you, said Luo Feng. I understand, Tuo Lei Wu nodded. We'll exchange the people and the corpse of the golden horned beast at the same time, said Luo Feng coldly. The corpse of the golden horned beast actually isn't even on Earth. It is on an uninhabited planet that needs around 10 days to reach while flying at a rate of 20,000 kilometers per second. So, no matter how hard you search on Earth, you won't be able to find it. Tuo Lei Wu's eyes flashed as he complimented, Niece, smart, Mr. Leader, I'm starting to respect you. Yes, a treasure like the corpse of the golden horned beast indeed needs to be hidden well. Tell me, where is it? Tuo Lei Wu started to get a bit excited. The corpse of the golden horned beast was too important. It was way more valuable than the property of the entire Nuolan Shan family. HMPH. Luo Feng sneered, If I tell you now and then you end up killing people, what can I do? Tuo Lei Wu's face sank. HMPH, Luo Feng sneered, If we cooperate, I'll give you some space coordinates. Arrange for some people to get there. As for me, I'll also arrange for people to meet my family members and confirm their safety. At that time, you will release them, and I will tell you the exact location of the golden horned beast. If you can't even accept this, then that means you were never planning to let my family members go. Then, we have no need for any deals. It's not like I can't ruin your squad via the golden horned beast's corpse, sneered Luo Feng. Tuo Lei Wu laughed weirdly. Leader Luo Feng is indeed straightforward. We'll do as you say. All right, Luo Feng's expression was cold. Luo Feng swiftly arranged everything with Tuo Lei Wu and then ended the call. Wu Le, in a moment, Luo Feng contacted the slave market salesman again. Mr. Luo Feng, you said you want me to transport 100 star level 9 slaves to buy land star within a day. One day is just too short. One day's time, which is to say, we have to complete the transaction within the Silver Blue Empire. Star level 9 slaves aren't common to begin with. In a small area like the Silver Blue Empire, even if I make arrangements with other salesmen, there aren't that many. Stop wasting time. Up to how many can you bring within a day? I'll pay the full price, yelled Luo Feng. 8. To reach by land star within a day, at most 8 star level 9 slaves can be sent. And you can't pick their race, gender, etc. The green-haired man shook his head helplessly, Mr. Luo Feng, is there really such a need to rush? One day, sigh, that's just too short. It takes almost 10 days to transport from Dragon Star to Bailan Star. Luo Feng was clear. It was hard for the slave salesman to transport star level 9 slaves to Bailan Star. 
since there is a limit to how far you can fly in a day. If it's eight at most, then just do eight, said Luo Feng. After finishing the call with Wula, twelve hours later, they reached Balan Star. The white snow fluttered about, extreme cold temperatures all about. The ship landed within the warehouse bases, in front of a castle. Master, the slave guards were respectfully waiting in front of the base. Yes, Luo Feng swiftly exited from the cabin door, Thunder God and Hong followed behind. The metals master ordered have arrived, they are all stored in the warehouse. The slave guard captain said respectfully, also, the slave owner's ship arrived too, delivering three slaves. Okay, Luo Feng nodded. The metals he ordered, were the optimum combination the golden horned beast required during the star level, it allowed the evolution speed multiplier go up to 89 times. The metal groups he ordered the previous time cost 10 billion black dragon dollars, and right now, they were just about depleted, their multiplier efficiency had only reached 51 times. The slave guard captain watched as Luo Feng, Hong and Thunder God entered the castle. The slave guard captain was somewhat shocked. The master usually had a smile when he arrived, yet why was his aura so angry and malevolent this time? Ever since the possession, Luo Feng's killing intent and aura had always been heavily brutal and savage, it was only because of his wife and children that helped diffuse this malevolence, that and Luo Feng's own self-control. This was why he was always courteous and never seemed to look down or bully anybody, one had to know. When Luo Feng first left the sea and killed Sago Nehru and Atkin, that was the Luo Feng without restraints. This time, Luo Feng's killing intent and savage side couldn't be held back any longer. Dot 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 dot. Within the top floor of castle on Balan Star. They had been on Balan Star for about nine hours. Just at that time, the last five star level nine slaves were finally delivered. Third brother, you are taking the slaves back with you to earth alone. Don't you need us with you? Thunder God stared wide-eyed. First and second brother, the battle this time mainly relies on the star level nine slaves. You and I have no way to intervene at all. The only reason I'm going is to direct and give orders faster. If I didn't need to direct them, there's actually no need for me to go at all. Luo Feng explained. Hong and Thunder God understood. This battle was a battle between star level nine warriors. Between the two of them, one was a star level one while the other was only a star traveler level nine, going with them would be suicide. Third brother, you must be careful. Thunder God couldn't help but say. Don't overdo it, Hong reminded. Luo Feng nodded, I'll be leaving first. Ever since he found out about his wife and little brother being taken hostage, he had lost all sense of restraint, it was only because he needed to wait for the eight slaves that he held back till now. At the entrance of the castle, Hong and Thunder God watched as Luo Feng brought the eight star level nine slaves and took the ship, disappearing into the sky. Sigh, Thunder God sighed angrily, looking to Hong beside him, Big brother, don't you feel really bad inside? A little, Hong slightly lifted his head, looking in the direction of which the ship disappeared. I don't feel good either, Thunder God exclaimed. Before, no matter what level of danger we encountered, the two of us could still fight it out. Yet this time, from the start till end, the two of us couldn't do anything at all. This feeling of helplessness, it's really, really shitty feels terrible. It is indeed a terrible feeling. Hong nodded. Hong and Thunder God, just what sort of people are they? Over the decades, the two had always been Earth's pinnacle of strength and elites. Whether it was the period of the Great Nirvana, or the incident with the Swallowing Beast, they could always fight it out and give their all. Yet this time, the crisis brought about by the Nuolan Shan family, the two had no power to help at all. Our power is simply too weak, Hong said solemnly. Yes, we are too weak, Thunder God nodded. It's not just us that are too weak, even third brother's power is too weak. Right now we are relying on the power of money, and our own strengths and powers. Two star level one warriors, one star traveler level nine. Compared to the Nuolan Shan family, the difference is just simply absurd. Hong said solemnly, 
Let's go to the virtual universe. Virtual universe. Thunder God froze. The virtual universe is the place within the entire vast universe where countless people and powerful warriors gather. We have to find a path that fits us. Hong said. Within the virtual universe network. Hong and Thunder God sat within the corner of a bar. Hong relied on his quantum computer to search for data. How's it coming? Thunder God asked. I found it. A very suitable place for fighters to train. Hong nodded. However this place, the price is very high. According to the difference in levels of power, the amount to be paid is different, but they are still expensive. Third brother gave us each 500 million Ganwu dollars. That'll definitely be enough. Thunder God said. It is enough. 500 million Ganwu dollars is a huge sum of money. Hong nodded, however, as we grow stronger, even the 500 million Ganwu dollars will be used up. What is this place? Thunder God couldn't help but ask. The killing fields. Hong slowly explained. For a fighter to raise his powers, does he rely on simply hard training? Unless one was a manka person, or something like the golden horned beast, with a strong natural bloodline to naturally reach the domain lord or sector lord. However, even the manka people, after reaching the domain lord, will still require various methods to train and work to break through. Want to raise one's power? Battle. Battle was the best method. The best way was to battle one that was on par with one's own strength. A battle that forced one to his limits and feel the imminence of death. Right, big brother, the time when our powers rose the fastest was during the great Nirvana, it was during that period that we had to face many many different kinds of monsters. But as our powers overtook that of the monsters, our evolution speed too slowed. Over decades, we only rose by three levels. Thunder God said. Yes. Hong's eyes gleamed. A fighter that didn't battle. How could he still be considered a fighter? Dot 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 dot. Hong and Thunder God had indeed found a more suitable path. Battle was indeed one important path for upgrading one's powers. This was also the reason why the powerful fighters and spirit readers, over 99% of them joined the Universe Mercenary Alliance. This was also why the Battle Axe Colosseum, a terrifying place where there was a definite death every battle, was still popular and functioning. To one who acquires the title of Universe-level Battle Axe Warrior, the probability of reaching the Domain Lord could be said to be 50%. While for normal Universe levels to break into the Domain Lord level, the probability is absurdly low. Dot 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 dot. This is the Killing Fields. Hong and Thunder God entered a large hall, this hall was enormous, comparable to even a city, however there weren't too many people within. It's truly imposing. Thunder God looked within the large hall, the huge, blood, backdrop, caused him to compliment. How can it not be imposing? This place's prices are extremely expensive. I'm a star traveler level 9, a day here requires 1 million black dragon dollars or 700 ganwu dollars. This is definitely not something an average person could afford. Hong couldn't help but say, one million black dragon dollars is enough to even buy a huge warehouse base on Balan Star. Over here, just one day was enough. But many people are still willing to come. Thunder God couldn't help but say, didn't you see the advertisement? Whatever kinds of enemies, they can completely customize them to your request. Indeed, that's what I like about here. Hong took a deep breath killing fields. This was an extremely extravagant battle place, the customer, could request from the virtual universe network with whatever he wants. For example, Hong was a star traveler level 9, his domain was at the second level, he could totally request for a star level 9 with domain level 3, this was extremely difficult to do in reality. He could also request for a hundred star traveler level 9 warriors to surround and attack him. These sort of meetings, were extremely rare in reality. However in the virtual universe, they were all possible. Of course, there were still differences between the virtual universe and reality, otherwise, the Battle Axe Colosseum wouldn't be so popular. To Lu, you'd made big this time no. Still okay, however we lost three of our people from our little team. No choice. Several small teams discovered the new world together, 
how could we not engage in battle? And who knows which sector lord created the new world? Within it there were several treasures that I didn't manage to grab hold of. At least we managed to get 10,000 of the universe crystals. It's considered quite an earning. 10,000. This world? There's definitely more to be excavated there. The three men walked past from beside. On their left chest were medals. The picture of the medals were blood-red waves floating about a planet. Universe 1 Star Mercenaries. Hong and Thunder God looked at each other. The mercenary medal, the battle axe medal, etc. These were all medals recognized within the virtual universe, through the virtual universe's customer screening through their quantum computers or AI systems, while checking the user's data, it automatically recorded these details. The users could choose whether to display these or hide them. What in world were they talking about? Thunder God couldn't help but ask. They were talking about a sector lord. I've also heard that sector lords are capable of creating another world. Hong shook his head, anyway, that's still too far from where we are, let's go, let's enter to battle. Right, battle, Hong and Thunder God thus began their days within the killing fields. Over here, many of the strong and powerful within the universe frequented the place. If they met any enemy in reality, they could totally enter the killing fields and custom an enemy similar to the one in reality and begin the battle. Of course, there were bound to be several differences between the virtual universe and reality. You could never possibly customize an enemy or opponent to be 100% similar to reality. When Hong and Thunder God were experiencing death time and again within the killing fields, and also the feeling of killing the opponent time after time, after about eight hours of universe travel, Luo Feng's universe ship had finally arrived on Earth. China East Side, within a particular wilderness area. A man dressed in a blood-red uniform, eyes gleaming from with rage stood there. Behind him, stood a row of eight people, the shortest about 1.2 meters while the tallest was about 4 meters tall. There were both men and women, one of them in particular had a lion's head. Yes. These were the eight-star level nine slaves Luo Feng had purchased. Due to time constraints, Luo Feng didn't have much to choose from, hence this eight slaves had very big differences from the first batch that he bought. The first batch had appearances that were very similar to the humans of Earth. Without careful analysis, one couldn't even tell. From now on, you cannot be over 100 meters away from me. Luo Feng said using universe language. Yes. Master, whether it was a loud reverberating, or deep and resounding, or clean and crisp voice, the complex mix resounded, the eight star level nine slaves replied respectfully. Luo Feng was expressionless, there was a fire raging in his eyes. Babata, enter the entire planet's satellite network, through the country's surveillance systems, look for traces of those scum from the Nuolan Shan family. Luo Feng gave the order. Yes.